What's up, Hot Wheelers? Jasper49 back with you here. I missed the L Case dump bin party that happened this week. I was uh, occupied with other things, did not get to the Walmarts until this weekend, and as you can imagine, they were thoroughly picked through, but there were still some cool cars left, and uh, uh, went to one Walmart, found a couple more Zamax, a couple more of the, the Mustang bosses, and I found enough that I can open some, so I thought, you know what, let's just have ourselves an opening party here. Don't get to do that very often, and uh, you've seen all these cars anyway, so we're just going to open some. Now, I did find a another um, stocking, I was wondering this, of the Fast and Furious uh, end cap at a particular Walmart that's um, not quite as big as the other Walmarts, but it's still a super Walmart. But uh, I'd gone, you know, a few days ago, and, and the end cap was totally empty. Went back today, and there were some cars in there, quite a few. So there were several of the Dodge uh, Charger RTs, and there were quite a few of the Hemi's. I don't care for all of the cars in the set, so I'm not picking them all up. And I did not find the elusive Mustang, so uh, no super awesome surprise there. But um, I wanted to ask you guys a question before we get to opening some of these cars is if you've noticed anybody who's collected these Fast and Furious cars, in particular this Dodge Challenger SRT8 from 2008, which I normally don't collect 08s, but hey, this is a fantastic car. But I um, wanted to know if you guys noticed anything about this. Now, um, I just noticed this as I was doing it. Now, check out the um, right front um, windshield and um, passenger window part right here that little slanted part right there looks nice and solid right everybody's cool with that you can see one solid piece look at this one look at that looks like it's fractured right there anybody else notice that on their models not sure what's going on there fractured here's another one this one's even worse look at that so I'm not sure what happened there. Now, I don't think this could have happened just jingling around in the blister. I mean, that's a pretty big fracture there. So I just wonder if the piece is so thin. I mean, a lot of these cards have thin pieces right here on the uh, fender. But um, this is the only one I found. And I didn't look at them all, and I didn't notice this till I got home, or I would have looked at all of them. But uh, this one is nice, so we're going to keep this one in the, in the blister. Keep that one nice and safe. Uh, and then we're going to open one of these, and I guess I'm going to I'm going to save the worst one, which is this one on the bottom here, just just to have an example of it. I guess don't know how long I'll hang on to it, but you know I guess you could call that an error. But uh, anyway, we're going to open this one, which is not quite as bad. So let's start opening. Then we have another uh, Dodge Charger RT from the Fast and Furious, and a mainline RT, which. Found an extra of those too, so we're just going to open all of them. And then I got a couple of Zamax and a couple of uh, other ones too, so here we go. This is the uh, 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Get it in focus here. This one opens nice and clean. And this is a fantastic car. A lot of you have been uh, getting this car out of the, the blister and showing it off and comparing it to some other models, but it is a beautiful car. It's got a lot of detail. For a 97 cent car, these are these are pretty remarkable. Now, the the uh, Plymouth uh, is it a Roadrunner? Can't remember. It's the purple one that's coming out in the M cases. Indicates that they may be doing some more Fast and Furious cars since it's pretty popular. These went pretty fast, so uh, this is a nice piece. It's got a plastic base. Again, these have been talked about pretty extensively. So if if this is the first time you've looked at this. I'm just giving you a once over here, but most everybody's seen that. But here's that fracture I was telling you about, which is right here on the windshield. Oops, and I don't know if any of you have seen that happening in yours. So anyway, just something to look for. And then, of course, we have the Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger RT. And this model I've been wanting to open for a long time. This thing is just really awesome really awesome stance to this car. It's got the blacked out grill, slightly more cool than the main line, which we're going to open now. Here's the main line version, which comes uh, in the Fast and Furious. This is what the purple Plymouth is coming in in the M cases, so I'm wondering if we're going to see another 
special release of Fast and Furious cars. Um, but as you can see here, the difference, in case you haven't seen this, which has been profiled about a billion times on YouTube from our friends and neighbors who do these videos quite often, but you can see the difference in the wheel size and the, the variant there, and then also the front, the hood, you see the pins, the pins on, on the hood on the exclusive, and the black dot grill on the exclusive versus the regular. This is more akin to the main other mainline models, which came in purple and orange and green and everything. So this was just pretty much your basic Hot Wheels casting. It's got the black base. They both have the black base, in fact. Uh, and there's really nothing different about the base at all that I can tell from, from looking here. Anyway, uh, those are two awesome cars I've been wanting to open and thought, I don't know if I'm going to get to open these because I couldn't find them, but I finally found them. Just goes to show you, if you're patient, you'll figure it out eventually. But these three cars are really cool. Love this black. Those are going in my whatever display situation I have. So let's set those aside. And uh, here's a Zamac, a couple of Zamacs. This is the 70 Monte Carlo. Had a few of these, and these just came and hit uh, Walmart shelves. These are... Um, pretty plentiful. These are not like treasure hunts or anything like that. Um, they're just kind of exclusive to Walmart, so you won't find them necessarily at, at other stores, but um, this is a beautiful, beautiful Monte Carlo. Got the Zamac chrome and the green. Nice lime green and dark green uh, stripe. Uh, these cars, I did not really care for these at first, but the more I look at them, they're just super nice, man. Um, not incredible detail, but just a cool idea. And the, the Zamac, or Zamac, of course, is uh, stands for zinc and aluminum and uh, uh, copper, magnesium, some of the metal alloys that make up the die-cast metal. Here's the Shelby GT500, another super beautiful uh, Zamac casting. Got a couple of these in the blister, so I went ahead and Thought we'd open this one and uh, show that next to the Monte Carlo here. But again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very cool Zamac chrome. Uh, nice blacked out wheels, uh, dark interior. So just kind of simple, but just really, really nice. So worth having one to open for sure. Um, now, there's a red version of this, or maybe another color of this that I'm not quite sure of, but I think they're exact same car. They just have the, the Zamac color scheme going on. Two more to open, and we'll be done. This is the Mustang Boss. Isn't that cool? We'll wait last on that one. This one is awesome. 69 Dodge Charger. This is actually an RT um, because it says RT on the side. But it's not the souped up RT like these back here, but it's still a sweet looking vehicle. Check that out. Cannot wait to crack this one. These are fantastic uh, mainline cars right here. They really are. I mean, I really sort of just look for the cars that deserve more attention, and I think um, this Charger certainly does. It's got beautiful candy red, black uh, additions here with the Dodge logo here on the back. Very cool. And then, uh, of course, the RT, which is right here. You can see it right there. Nice um, detailed stripe here and a stripe on the bottom. Bigger wheel in the back than in the front. Plastic base, as you might expect. Uh, details a little off here on the door handle, but, you know, it's a 97 cent car. What do you want? But uh, I, in a previous video, I thought these two cars are the same casting, and they're very similar. Um, they're very similar, but I still can't figure out if it is or not. The grill is different, but the hood seems pretty much the same, other than the fact that it's got the... Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it may be different. It just seems this one is a little more got straight lines and stuff, and a little seems a little different back in here. But I don't know. I my eye is not trained enough yet to tell. It looks exactly the same. So there, I think there's just the grill, the grill and the base difference, because the bases are different. But 
It looks like the same metal casting to me. But I could be wrong. We don't have the trained eye yet. So here's back here's our little lot we have been creating. This is awesome. Really enjoying the opening these. These are fantastic uh, basic cars. So let's finish off with the boss, of course. Why not? Got a couple more of these. Thought they'd be elusive, but it looks like there's going to be a plenty. So you should still be able to find this guy. These are all L case cars except for, I think this is a K case car. I think this came in the K case, the uh, mainline Dodge Charger RT. Okay, and then of course the exclusives. Here's the boss. Let's get out the boss. Oh yeah. So now we've got our little car lot here. When would you ever be able to collect this many cars in one day? Unless they were Hot Wheels, right? So look at that. Very cool. This Mustang boss is nice and thick. You know, pretty basic car here. We've got the chrome base. But the white stripes going down the side with the Ram Air logo or the Ram Air text here. Pins for the hood. Nice uh, basic gray interior with just a little bit of detail but doesn't distract, which is nice. Hot Wheels logo here on the back and a side red light, side orange light. So quite a few, you know, basic details here for a, for a, nice, uh, a nice car. And... Uh, Let's check out the base real quick, just for fun. Everybody's seen these cars, but, you know, just want to give it a good once-over. Love these. These are fantastic. So, um, don't want to take up too much of your time here, but just wanted to show you some nice L case and Walmart exclusives out of the, uh, you know, of cracking them. So, uh, love all these cars. Did not get a treasure hunt, but that's okay. Not a big fan of this, this case's treasure hunt. Um... Looking forward to the next one, maybe. But uh, here it is, man. Some cool cars. So uh, we'll see you in the next video, and thanks a lot for watching.